Feel uninvited Left your home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone This girl's a wonder She loves me, yeah She needs to know I love her I wonder if we'll make it through this We are here here at the Geronimo's Monastery and uh, I'm gonna show you what's inside. Today is part of our class in the Portuguese language. As far as we know the Geronimo's uh, Monastery is a very historical site in Lisbon. We will know later why it's very historical. So just tune in guys and uh, so those who have not yet subscribed on my channel don't forget to subscribe. Guys as you can see that there's a lot of queue here in our back and because we have already booked and reserved so we don't need to fall on the line My lovely classmate. Her name is Granga. Granga our and, uh, our I favorite. Uh, my dear. Uh, yeah. Me too. I like the whole scenario. Where, you know? Yeah. I can't compare with both of them, but I love the this place. You know. Okay. I just loved it. That's great. <laughs> I expect to learn all the more. So you think you can already speak in Portuguese? You know, I Spanish. Okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is another beautiful classmate that I have in the class and uh, her name is Sima. Hello. Okay. Our class is really interesting yeah. and our group is the best group that I have ever met. Here is one of my smartest uh, classmates. Okay. We are very enjoying. Yeah. Uh, we are the more uh, like you know uh, we are very friendly. Close. Yeah. This very good person. Okay. You know? I like very much uh, everyone. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, my so minus. Uh, yeah, my so minus. <laughs> Angela. Hello. Okay. I'm from Nepal. Okay. We have friends from Philippines. We okay. have friends from Egypt. We have okay. friends from India, okay. Pakistan, Bangladesh. Okay. Which is going very okay. very awesome. Hola, what are to go to school. <laughs> Professor, I see it's a very beautiful city, it's a very good English and a very good Portuguese. Hey guys, this is the, my favorite one, one is the best for you. this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I love Don't it. Don't joke. <laughs> <laughs> <You're Okay. laughs> the classes are very nice. The teacher is our, our smartest student. <laughs> the most charming. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very interactive. Professora is very, very, very nice, very energetic. Yeah. My Portuguese has improved a lot. Really thankful for Niall yes. and innovative. The monastery was built in 16th century by King Manuel I to replace that small chapel that existed there before. 
that small chapel was not big enough for everybody and that's what made the king decide to build the church with an adjoining monastery. The construction took almost a century. King Manuel is considered the lucky king because he has all the money coming from the spice trade and spent it unlike the other king before who spent a lot of money just to invest to find the sea road to India. He built this monastery with the money from pepper packs and it is very important to the sailors to attend the mass before the sea voyages to ask for protection because a great percentage of them died and didn't know if they were able to come back due to the storm and diseases. Geronimo's monastery is the most common name of the St. Mary of Belém monastery and it was the most visited monument in Lisbon and is considered World Heritage Site by UNESCO since 1983. The monastery is definitely a must-see for anyone who visits the Portuguese capital. Vasco da Gama's tomb was placed inside by the entrance and was the tomb of poet Lois de Camões, author of the epic The Lusiads, in which he glorifies the triumphs of da Gama and his compatriots. Other great figures in Portuguese history are also entombed here, like King Manuel and King Sebastião, and poets Fernando Pizua and Alexander Herculano. The door is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. except for Monday and the ticket costs 10 euro for adults and 5 euro for a child below 12 years old. So we just finished guys from the monastery and uh, we decided to transfer to the other tower which is Tower Belen on the opposite side. So it's just like five minutes walk from the monastery of Geronimus. We are going to the Belen Tower. As you can see guys, in this tower, you will see the statue of all the discoverers during the age of discovery, uh, like Vasco de Gama and the rest of uh, the discoverers. So, as all of you know that during the old time before, Portugal almost owned half of the world. all for today guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I can bring you with a lot of tourist spots here in Portugal and also not in Portugal only but as well as the other parts of Europe. I would like to express my gratitude to all those classmates who joined my video for today. My subscribers and to my viewers who continuously watch my video. You guys are amazing and I owe you a lot guys and see you next time. Bye!